In this video, we'll see how you can migrate your public folders from Exchange into SharePoint Online or Teams. You've got an Exchange environment with public folders that contain a large number of emails, and you'd like to move those public folders and their content to a document library in SharePoint Online or Teams within your Microsoft 365 tenant. We'll see how a tool called MacroView Migration can automatically replicate your existing public folders as folders in that SharePoint Online or Teams library, and how the emails contained in each public folder can be transferred as EMLs or MSGs in the corresponding SharePoint folder. Let's see MacroView Migration in action. Well, here we are in Desktop Outlook, and we're seeing some public folders in our Outlook Folders pane. The public folder called 100 Acme Inc. contains 61 items, and its subfolder called 1000 Acme Place Project contains 56 items. We want to migrate all these public folders and their contents into a new SharePoint Online document library. All our SharePoint Online libraries are displayed in this macro view pane. Let's expand this site collection and create a new document library as a destination for our migration. We can do that with Provision New Library. We'll choose the macro view documents and emails style of library and we'll call it migrated emails with this URL suffix. Our document library is now being created. And here is our new library displayed in the macro view pane. If we click on it, we see that it's currently completely empty. Next, let's start macro view migration. We already have a package defined for macro view migration. We can click here in order to choose our source location in Outlook. Let's click All Public Folders as our source folder and copy the URL for our newly created destination library and paste that into the destination path. We can now check the settings. We choose Include Source Location, Trim Invalid Characters, and to standardize the names of our resulting message files. We're choosing the EML format for those files. Next, let's go ahead and run our migration. We are authenticated to our destination environment. And now MacroView Migration is handling the migration of all the items in the All Public Folders folder and its subfolders. When our migration run is complete, we simply double click in this history tab, there's a log file for every migration that we performed. We can right click and export one of those log files into Excel. Here are the statistics for our recent migration. We see that a total of 234 emails were processed, four duplicates were detected, so a total of 230 emails were actually migrated. And those 230 emails were contained in eight migrated folders. Back in the macro view pane, if we expand the migrated emails library, we see that the folders that were previously in our public folder environment have all been replicated here in this SharePoint Online library. If we click the 100 Acme Inc. folder, we see a total of 60 emails that were migrated. And conveniently, the macro view library has an emails view so that we can see that the migration has preserved the email attributes as metadata. If we expand that folder, we see the migrated subfolders from our public folder environment and their contents as well. Let's review what we've seen so far about macro view migration. Firstly, it replicates your existing public folder tree as a tree of folders in your SharePoint Online or Teams library. You have a choice of EML or MSG format for your migrated emails. The advantage of EML format is that it works in mobile devices. MacReview Migration removes characters that are illegal from the names of the migrated files and folders. It also automatically names the resulting emails in SharePoint Online or Teams in order to prevent duplicates, copies of any one email in any SharePoint area. As we've seen, MacReview Migration automatically records the attributes of the email as metadata in the destination SharePoint environment. That is, providing the relevant content type and metadata columns are present, which they will be if you create or update the library using MacReview provisioning.
And lastly, MacReview Migration supports validation and reporting. If we check this box, MacReview Migration will check all source items without actually migrating them. These validation runs won't detect duplicates, but they will highlight any source folders that contain more than 5,000 emails. This might give rise to a list view threshold issue if they were to be migrated. Well, we've seen the basic operation of MacReview migration, which is to replicate an existing public folder tree as a tree of folders in SharePoint. MacReview migration can also map the folder tree to a different structure in SharePoint. For example, one containing multiple sites, document libraries, document sets, and folders, and where some of the folder names are mapped as metadata automatically as part of the migration. It's all about creating an optimal experience for the users as they're saving new emails. The resulting SharePoint design might look something like this. A subsite for each client and document sets corresponding to each matter or case or project and those document sets containing folders for frequently used document types. If this is relevant to your organization, MacReview Professional Services will assist with a custom workflow for MacReview migration. Well, in addition to migrating public folders to SharePoint, MacReview Migration can also migrate private Outlook folders and PSTs. Here's an example of a private inbox, which contains some subfolders, which has been migrated to this document library in SharePoint Online. Clicking the inbox shows the migrated emails and subfolders containing migrated emails as well. Migration can also handle the migration of documents from Windows file shares. As it does those migrations, it preserves modified and created dates, automatically expand existing zip files, and regenerate any MSGs or EMLs that have been saved to those file share areas as emails, that is, with their attachments and metadata. MacReview migration can also migrate to on-premises SharePoint server. That's both from Outlook Exchange and also from Windows file shares. Use these details for more information about MacReview migration and for other MacReview solutions for generating and managing documents and emails using Office 365, SharePoint, and Teams.